saw the, the published report yesterday about Curtis. Mm -hmm. Wonder if you can confirm that he's dealing with a heart issue and just what you're able to say about it. Well, he's dealing with a medical issue, and we're going to move on from that. Do you have any sense on how he's doing and that sort of thing? Um, other than he's just, you know, he's doing well. We'll see what happens, obviously, because he's, you know, in, in, in the doctor's care right now. A guy like that, though, that is kind of every time it seems like he's coming back, he there's another setback for him, whether it's one thing or the other. Well, you know, it's it's <clears throat> you know just unfortunate, and then I know he'll just continue to you know do what he's told, and he'll uh, he'll be back. Uh, is it safe to roll him out for this weekend, or is that something you all are still deciding upon? Um, I would say it's safe to roll them out. I'm, I'm not going to play around on this one, though. I'm just like I said, guys. He's, it's a medical Ill issue, and you know he's, the doctors are taking care of it for him. Another step forward for Solitolo and Williams, perhaps. Well, you know, we'll continue to work them and see how you know how they are the next day. Again, guys, you know, we, when we talk about injuries, always talk about the next day. You know, we, we we we're told what we can do with them. We go out, we do it, and then um, you got to always see how they react to, to the amount of work they're being given. And so we'll see how they are tomorrow. And again, we'll just continue to go forward and eventually make our decisions when we've got to, when we've got to uh, make those decisions. I guess what I'm asking is how did they progress today from what they did yesterday? They did well. They did well. But again, as I said, though, you know, for, for what they're allowed to do each day, we get to that point and then we move on. Ron, uh, through the training camp and in the, in the preseason, I know uh, we talked a lot about um, Cam posting the workout Instagram videos and, and everything. Um, and we heard the backstory behind Captain Munderland joining him early in the mornings. Um, what was your take on that? Cam seemed pretty amused by by all of that, and uh, pretty impressed with Captain showing up every morning. Well, I think it's cool because you know it, it's it's one of those things where it becomes a little bit of a challenge. And um, I've noticed that uh, there's a bit of a challenge to see who gets there first and gets started first. So when the other guy comes in, uh, they you know they kind of harass each other, which is kind of good. And they push each other. And, and I think it's been really good for Captain, to be honest. You know, I think it's really helped him in terms of his focus and his dedication, uh, even more so. And, and I think that's, you know, the older you get as a player, the, the better you've got to take care of yourself. And I think Captain's learning that. Yeah, he wouldn't reveal who was the one who placed bets on this situation. Uh, would you say you are a betting man? No, no, not at all, not at all. I just, you know, I know those two guys. Whatever they got going, they, 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 you know, they like to compete at everything. Ron, year eight now, for you for Cam, and remember, remember, shortly after you were hired, or maybe the second year, they said you, in some ways, you and he, would kind of always be linked. Uh, what do you, what do you, have you guys learned about each other over the years, and? Uh, I don't know what, I guess that's my question. Well, I, I think, you know, going through the years, it, you know, I've been very fortunate. When you're, you're in one spot for a while, that means you guys are doing something right, and I really do appreciate, um, you know, the guys that we have on this football team that have been here the whole time, you know, from, from Cam all the way through uh, through the coaching staff. There's a number of coaches that have been here for the whole eight years as well, and I really do appreciate that because it shows a little continuity. Um, the unfortunate side is because we've had success, we've lost some guys. Uh, they've moved on to other opportunities. But, you know, being around Cam for, for as long as I have, I mean, I got nothing but respect for who he is as a football player and as a person. I mean, here's a guy that wants to do everything the right way, does, you know, he, he does things um, with, with an eye on winning. Everything he does is about winning. That's probably the biggest thing I've learned about him. Um, you know, and he's always been honest with me, so I've been up front. Any issue we've ever had, he's dealt with. Um, I mean, it's, it's what you want in, 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 in one of your leaders on your football team. Because there's so much turnover in the league, whether it's with coaches or quarterbacks, what kind of advantage does that give you two that you keep <coughs> going well, together? Well, again, I think it's about the continuity and being able to have that kind of continuity. Because in this league, this league is about having the having the franchise quarterback, having that guy that can go out and win games for you. I mean, at worst, you got to have a guy that can manage a game and not lose it. Um, but when you have a guy that can go out and win games for you, that's big. And, and we're, we've been very fortunate here uh, to have him as, as our starting quarterback for the last eight seasons. Jason Garrett came in the same year you did. I think he had a, an interim game or two at the end of the I guess ten season. 
but to your point, I mean, he's a guy that's already gone through at least two quarterbacks, I guess. But, I mean, his through attrition. You know, he, he lost Tony Romo, who was a very good quarterback in his, in his own line, uh, in his own right. He's done everything he's supposed to do. He, he got him to playoffs, and, and, and now the transition has, has occurred for them. Now they've got Dak Prescott. I mean, that, that's the natural order. I mean, again, when you have a guy like Tony Romo who could be there for as long as he, he was, win as many games as they've won and get into the playoffs, I think that's huge, and, and that's where we are. You know, we have we have our guy right now, and you know, hopefully, I can be here as long as he is. Uh, that would be cool, but uh, you just never know. But again, we're very fortunate to be in this situation, and again, a lot of good people have have, have, have been here and have helped us uh, along the way. Coach C.J. Anderson joked that there's so many playmakers, he's not sure there's going to be enough footballs to go around on Sunday. As you look at this roster, how good a feeling is it to see so many weapons, guys who are capable of making that big play? Well, we have a lot of potential, and you know, and that's, that's a scary word in the NFL because you got to live up to your potential now. Um, I, I do point back to the 2015 season, and one of the things that really did happen in that year was, was to see the ball get spread around to as many different receivers and runners that we used. Um, I think that plays very well to, to the type of football team you want to be because now they can't key in on one guy or two guys. They've got to play the whole field, and I think that can be to our advantage if we got enough guys that can make plays. Again, as I said, it's a potential is, is, is a crazy word. Just got to be careful with it. But I do think we have some guys that can help us. Uh, now it's a matter of getting the ball into their hands. Um, I had the great fortune of having worked with Coach Turner in San Diego, worked for him as his coordinator, and got an opportunity to watch the way he called, he called games. And I really appreciate it because he does look for the hot hand. He does look for the guys that are trending and gets the ball, you know, into their hands so they can make things happen. You know, and and, and I was there when LT was there and, and saw the greatness of LT through, you know, a guy that didn't get the ball every play. He got the pl he got the ball at the right times and he made he made hay with it. And that's what our guys got to do. When the ball's in your hands, you got to make plays. Opening at home for the first time in five years. Uh, your thoughts on being here as opposed to doing it in somebody else's house. It's kind of cool. I just got to get used to it. I mean, you know, it's, it's a little bit different. It'll be, um, but it, like I said, it is really cool to be able to open at home. I, uh, you know, the, the fan support we've had my, going into my season has been tremendous. You know, they really have come out and, and, and force and, and have, have, have helped make the difference for us. And, and I'm looking forward to, to a good crowd on Sunday. How important is a fast start for you guys? Um, it's important. I mean, it makes it a lot easier if you start fast. Um, you know, and we'll see. I mean, that's why. I mean, you know, but um, I had a uh, really, really good coach tell me one time, it's never how you start, it's always about how you finish. And so, uh, you know, I, I hope we finish strong like we've done in the past. I hope we have good Decembers. Um, but I would love to start fast. Brian, on Sunday, you're the right side of your line is going to have to deal with Demarcus Lawrence, who's coming out of a 14 and a half sack season. Uh, what kind of challenge does he in particular pose to your line and protection and, and really everything? That well, I mean, he's it, no different than any good pass rusher, a guy that has double-digit sacks. You know, we had two guys last year that had double-digit sacks, too. Just want to mention those guys so we don't forget. Um, but um, he's a quality football player. I mean, he's an explosive guy off the edge. He's got good quickness. He's got a, he, he's got a variety of moves. Um, he, can go, he can go speed to power. Uh, you see him try to counter, work his work back underneath and inside, and uh, I promise you, Rod Marinelli, their defense coordinator, has got some things up his sleeve to, to, to not just him, but on the other side as well. I mean, they've got some good football players that we have to handle. One of those eleven sack guys that you have, Mario Addison, tomorrow's his thirty-first birthday, I believe. Uh, how have you seen him grow in the time since you've had him here, and how valuable is he going to be against sort of that vaunted Cowboys? Along well, you know, it, it was really cool to to to, to look back. You know, and you mentioned that about Mario because he's a guy that we got off of somebody else's practice squad. He came in here. He's a very enthusiastic, gung ho young guy, and he's that same guy. That's just how he is. He's always been that way. So, but it has really been cool to watch him develop as a young man, as a person, um, and as an athlete. I mean, he's he's done everything you would want a guy that's getting a chance to do, and he took advantage of it, and he's excelled, and and he's where he should be. Um, and, and I think he's, he's a guy that can continue to, to help you know, lead our pass rush. Uh, this is going to be a good Cowboy offensive line that we, we play against. Um, you know, and, and, and again, two years ago when they were all healthy, when Ezekiel was back there running, we all know how good they are as a football team. You know, we've got to be disciplined in this game. We've got to, we've got to control our gaps. We've got to be where we're supposed to be to help shut that run down because the run game is so vital to who they are as a football team, in my opinion.
certainly like the Thomas Davis, but are you also in the same breath anxious to see what Shaq can do with that? I, I'm anxious to see, see Shaq play. You know, he's, he's had some opportunities and he's taken advantage of him. He's done a great job. Um, I think uh, this is a, another step in his development as a football player for us. Uh, you know, he's got a bright future. He really does. And uh, I think he can grow into truly be one of the elite linebackers in this league. And um, I'm excited for him. You know, um, um, and we'll see how it goes on Sunday. So how do you think this team compares to the team from last season? And what growth did you see the most over this offseason? Well, um, I think it's hard to compare when, when you change personnel. You know, we've changed a, a number of players in a number of positions. But I do think this football team can grow. I think this football team can be a good football team. Uh, if we do things the right way, if, if some players come through correctly, uh, we get them coached up, we can be a very good football team. But we'll see. And we got to take it one game at a time. We've got to focus in on playing Dallas this week um, and see what happens. Um, you, know, you try to gauge who you are during the preseason. You know, you can play well against certain teams, but, you know, um, those teams you play against may be trying to do something different in the preseason. So you never really get to know. Um, but I, I do think one of the things that we did talk about as a team is we wanted to win as many preseason games as we could. So we played every one of those games to win. How do you see the role of C.J. Anderson playing out? What do you got? Well, um, I, I see it playing out exactly, um, you know, how, how you see teams that have two running backs. You know, when, 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 when the starter needs to be spelled, he'll come in, he'll play, he'll do some things. I know Norv has some things for him specifically as well. So, um, again, we'll use him to the best of our ability and the best of his ability and try and put him in good position. Ron, this might seem like an overly simple uh, question, but I wonder if you can peel back the curtain a little bit. Um, Cam Newton said he's happy and he really missed football. Behind the scenes, you, when you see him every single day, uh, what do you see that, that – shows you that when you see him day in and day out in these meeting rooms? You know, the, 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 the one thing I'll say about him is, is he has very rarely ever missed a practice day. Um, for the first time during training camp, he got a, he got a, day, he got a true day off uh, a couple weeks ago. And, um, and he wasn't happy about it. I mean, even if, he, you know, even if he could practice, he would have practiced in a limited role. He'd have been fine with that. But I, I can honestly say, though, with the exception of the time when he was rehabbing the shoulder, um, he really, truly had a day off. And you could see it just kind of grind in him, you know, in his gut that he really wanted to be. And, and he, was, he would watch and see something happen, and, and you could see him thinking through it. And so you could tell he missed it. Even though it was just practice, he, he wanted to be out there. And so that I thought was really kind of kind of cool about it. Ron, on the side, it would seem the two of you are, are pretty dissimilar. And you probably could say the same with you and a lot of 20-something year, year old players. But are there things that you and Cam are fairly similar on or share some things on? We want to win. More so than anything else, I think that's probably is we want to win. But we want to win the right way. I'll say that much. I mean, you know, we want to be able to compete and line up against your opponent and beat them. Um, you know, and, and, and I think that's one of the things I really appreciate is that um, he wants to win. He wants to win the right way.